With the bowl game only one day away, coaches and coordinators met with the media today to talk about preparing for players who haven't played a down all season. Yeah, it's always a challenge, you know, and, and I think a lot of teams run into that, you know, in the, in the bowl season with so much transition, uh, whether it be players, whether it be, you know, coaching staffs or systems. Um, and and that's, that's the nature of the business. You know, the, the two games that, that always leave you a little bit in the dark, you know, bowl games and then the first game of the season. Well, we've seen him on, on some huddle stuff that we've seen, and obviously uh, some of the camps that he's been on throwing the ball. But really, you know, you kind of say what, how they're going to try to attack us. You know, they have an offense that we prepared for of, of one, one system is, and now you've got a different offensive coordinator going to be calling it. Uh, Vince, I'm sure he'll have some tricks up his thing. So it's going to be interesting for us. Uh, you know, but basically when it comes down, I think they can only have 11 guys on the field. With many players opting out of the bowl game, the coaches were very appreciative for those who stuck around. Yeah, I think it, it means a, a great deal to us to see guys that are working extremely hard, that are injured, guys like Jaquez, guys that are, you know, have a good reason to sit out but uh, choose to play. And uh, it says a lot about uh, them individually. It says a lot about our culture and our team and uh, what we're striving to do. It's just how they're wired. And, um, you know, if you're going to have a good football team, you have to have guys like that. And... You know, we've had a lot of good players. You know, that, that's the fun of the game. You get guys like that that have that attitude and uh, desire and want to, and that's the impact that has on a team is just it's really impressive. Offensive coordinator Brian Ferentz has been under a lot of scrutiny this season, but he says it doesn't affect him. What's your reaction when you, you know, criticism filters your way and how have you responded? Is that a serious question? Sure. Uh, did you read the Ohio article? I just... No. Okay. We, I feel like we've covered this ground for all the Ohio guys in the room, right? My focus is on doing my job every day. Does criticism make it to me? Of course it does. My wife has criticism for me on a daily basis. All this stuff gets back to me in some form or fashion and none of it matters because my job is every day to wake up and try to put our players in position to be successful. That's it. And whatever my reaction to it has no bearing on my ability to do my job. All the talk with the players and coaches is finally over. Tomorrow, part two of the battle between Kentucky and Iowa will be for the TransPerfect Music City Bowl Championship. From the Gaylord Opperland Hotel in Nashville, Tennessee, A.J. Reister, DI TV Sports.